Okay, we just got back from Lake of the Woods, and we were staying at Sportsman Sleepers this time. So, um, and actually, you know, even though they have not had uh, actual affiliation with Sportsman's, someone bought Sportsman's, and so if you're looking them up online, you no longer go to to Sportsman's and then look at their sleeper house options. That'll send you into a different direction. If you're looking for Sportsman Sleepers, you need to look specifically for Gibbons Ice Fishing. And uh, I believe the new website is called uh, Gibbons uh, Sleeper House. So that's where you're going to locate their information. And of course, I've already put out a couple videos as far as everything that they offer. Now, there's three guys on this trip. This is a trip that I go with uh, Joshua and Gary. And this uh, location was past Pine Island quite a ways. We were along that Canadian and uh, U.S. border there in the middle of the lake, about 30 feet of water. And what I would say is we, you know, we caught 71 fish. That's, you know, uh, okay. Um, I, I would say it was a it was a good weekend. It was a good weekend. It wasn't a it wasn't a super slow weekend. Um, one guy did catch 35 fish. So if you imagine if all players kind of were equal that number would have been a lot higher um, so I would say the majority of the fish were right around that 12 to 15 inch uh, area then we caught some couple slot fish one uh, 21 and 129 uh, inch walleye and that right there is going to make a trip great uh, no matter what the fishing is after that. Uh, so was it a successful weekend? I'd say so. Now most of you aren't concerned about that type of thing. You're concerned about the weather. Uh, we got we left Sunday. So right now it's Thursday. We left Sunday. At that time they really had not lost any of the, they, you know, there wasn't a lot of snow cover but they hadn't lost the snow that they had. I would say the snow on top of the ice that they did have would start, was starting to change. Um, it was getting, you know, a little bit uh, softer um, and, and losing some of its powdery nature. Overall, we were at 18 to 20 inches of ice, and at that time, the ice was still was still in good shape. So, of course, the anxiety comes in with if there's too much sunshine and the warmer temperatures, is that ice going to start losing its its integrity is it going to start to that you know look like that honeycomb or candling effect is what they will call that and uh, yeah we got to keep our eye out for that but the temperatures are supposed to drop actually i think starting tonight and have pretty cold temperatures here for the next 10 days so let's keep our fingers crossed um going back to the fishing i'll say that uh, as we were kind of getting reports from each house that we uh, probably caught more fish than the majority of the houses around us. Now I will say both when we went up to Dale's and when we went up to Sportsman Sleepers that was the thing that we are hearing uh, regularly. So my take on that is you can't always judge when someone says that they don't catch that they haven't caught a lot of fish you know some people they're not even they might not have their electronics on or maybe they're napping during the day. My experiences, and I know that I don't tell you guys a lot of like what I do, mainly because I think the majority of you know better than I uh, how to fish that lake. But I'll say this, if you're not paying attention to your electronics, you're going to miss those 10 minute flurries. And that's the consistency that I think builds up throughout the weekend. You will, uh, it's not just gonna be, it's very rare that it's just on all day. Instead what you get is you get a school that comes through and you've got about five minutes where everybody if they're looking at their electronics is catching fish and you're getting them to chase, they're aggressive and then you're not seeing anything for another 45 minutes and, and then it happens again. So you really have to be tuned in and when you are I think over time you're gonna find that you're gonna catch quite a bit of fish. Now are there times when it's just slow? Yeah. And I don't think it matters where you are at those times. Sometimes it is just slow. But that's not the way it was this last weekend. And I'm really hoping that uh, these cooler temperatures are going to solidify uh, that ice. I'm hoping that it didn't lose a lot of integrity because we're going to be going back up. And I want to give you guys another report and hopefully it'll be another positive report. So again, stay safe out there. Always call ahead before you go out into the lake. Make sure you're checking in with those resorts to make sure that you know uh, what their roads are like, what the requirements are, and we'll see you next time.